Subtraction. In Mortensen Mathematics, we like to put the children in a situation where they cannot fail. If they cannot fail, they'll succeed. Now here we have 19 take away 5. And we've played games where we understand that numbers are made up of other numbers. And remember we were having a party with 9. And if 9 had a party and 5 wanted to go, who would he have to bring? Well, let's see here. There's 5. If I'm going to build a 9 with a 5, you can see what's going to fit there. A 4. So if I take this 5 away from 9, there's 4 left. And it's very simple. 14. Now, it gets better. Now here's a slightly more complex problem. 15 take away 8. Now I've actually seen students do this. And then they count backwards. All right, let's take a look at it a slightly different way. If I have 15 and I want to take away 8, do I have enough? Can I take this 8 out of this 15, out of this 5? Well, I can't. What do I do? I take it out of this 10. Now, we know we played want to be a 10. What does 8 need to be a 10? It needs 2. So you can see a 2 would fit right there easily. That's it. Take away 8 from the 10, and I have 7. So what I did in my mind is add 2 to 5 to get 7. We can always hit rewind. We're going to do a couple more problems quickly. OK, a slightly more complex subtraction problem. 23 take away 7. Again, all I'm going to do is add, because you'd much rather add small numbers than subtract. So, do I have enough? The first question. Do I have enough? I don't have enough. I can't take this 7 out of that 3. So, if I don't have enough, a lot of students like to do this. They remember, they don't have enough. And where am I going to take that from? Can I take it out? Oh, I've got to take it out of one of these 10s. So, I take it out of this 10 right here. And again, we know that 7 wants to be a 10. What does he need? He needs a 3. So again, all I've done is add 3 and 3 to get 6. I didn't have enough there, so I took away that 7 from one of the 10. 16. Once again, you can rewind it, because I find that some adults find this to be so easy, it's hard for them to understand. But children love to do mathematics this way, do subtraction this way. I've actually had students thank me for teaching them how to do this. Let's try another problem, quickly. All right. And the last one we're going to do here is 34, take away 9. Again, do we have enough? We don't have enough. So again, where am I going to take that 9 away from? We're going to take it away from one of these 10s here. So again, don't have enough. And all I have to do is see that, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to just add 1. Just 1. Because a 1 will fit right there. You can see it. Oh. So 1 and 4, 5, and there's only two tens left. Very simple, very easily. Now why do we do this? Well, you'll see, when, let's take a real life situation where we're making change out of 100. 